Hi everyone. First off, thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around that number, and so thankful for every single one of you. To celebrate this milestone, I will be answering your questions. I had a lot of you guys requesting murder mystery to content, so I will be playing it for this video. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be an MMT YouTuber since my skills are really rusty as you'll soon see. Anyways, I made a community post and asked my Discord server for some questions. Before we start, make sure to follow me on Roblox so you can join me whenever I'm in-game. Okay now let's begin. Melody asked these first few questions. I didn't have anyone specific that inspired me to create outfits. I mainly got inspired by Pinterest outfits. Every avatar on there is literally gorgeous. My favorite Roblox style is the cyber style. Ha, I love it so much. I'm actually wearing a new cyber outfit right now. And since it's my favorite style, I use it the most. My favorite Roblox game is probably Evade. It's mainly the only game I play on Roblox. Murder Mystery 2 was actually my favorite game five years ago, but I stopped playing it because I didn't like the season one update. Lastly, my favorite colors are blue and yellow. Moving on, we have Solar's question. I didn't mean to make a YouTube channel initially. I joined a Roblox trend in 2021 and my video went viral. I got a lot of subscribers from that video, so I decided to make more videos. These included shopping sprees and other Roblox trends. Eventually, I discovered that I wanted to share my sprees and outfit ideas. So honestly, I did not have a reason to start a YouTube channel. It just sorta of happened. The next question comes from Jetty. I didn't have anyone that inspired me to start my channel. I saw a lot of people doing a certain Roblox trend and I wanted to join. Kimiko inspired me to make a version of her video. Video credits to her. I wanted to share other things Kimiko didn't say. I learned that I wanted to share tutorials on Roblox outfits. So I am very thankful for her. Her side note, I got so lucky on this MM to game. This guy was a little suspicious so I shot him haha. By the way, I think this server has teamers so I will be rejoining soon. Anyways, these are the next questions. I was 13 years old when I started my channel. Now, I am currently 16 years old. Moonjumper asked me how my first commission went. I was very surprised when I got my first client since I had a small following on Twitter. This was the drawing. My client was really happy with it and even tipped me. I first started commissions three years ago, so it doesn't look good to me now, sadly. The next question is from Crazy Timed. I drew a lot to get good at it. I have been practicing for seven years and I'm still improving. There were many resources I used to get better at art. YouTube tutorials were useful as a beginner artist. After learning art basics, I went my own way. I started studying techniques from my favorite artists. It transformed my art from this to this within a month. Those artworks are two years old. If you want to get better at art, study others and keep practicing. Next question, have I ever tried animating? Yes, I have, and I will never do it again, aha. Uh -huh. I joined a friend's art contest and submitted an animation. It's just a simple loop animation, but it took a whole weeks. I have so much respect for animators and their patience. Animations take so much time and effort than what people understand unless they experience it. Moving on, here is the next question. Oh, and this is gonna be really ugly. Please brace your eyes in. Three, two, one. Alright, anyway, next question. Tam Tam asked what my favorite avatar is. Oh my god, this is a hard question. I love all of my outfits, but if I had to choose one, it would be this. 
even though it has basic colors, the items make up for it. I love the gangster and cyberpunk vibes from it. My outfits are always improving so my favorite outfit will probably change in the future. Next up, we have Ty's question. I mainly got good by taking inspo and finding good items. I use Pinterest and other people with cool fits for inspiration. I also started favoriting items that I like so I could have a collection of things to look back on and for Roblox to recommend similar items. This person asked a couple of questions. I joined Roblox on November 24th, 2016, but I actually started playing late 2015 or early 2016 as a guest. My first outfit was the classic noodle hair girl. This is my first avatar I bought with Robux. It's so 2016. Moonify asked, how did I get the right face accessories and how did I get the idea of making catalog content? I mainly used inspiration and experience to find the right items. Keep making avatars and you'll be able to find the right stuff. The catalog content idea came from Himiko. Next up, we have this question. Um, I feel great to have toes. What country am I from? I'm Vietnamese, but I'm from the US. This question is from Lovely. I mainly get my motivation from you guys. I enjoy reading all your comments and interactions. I also love posting and seeing my videos come to life. Some of my videos take a very long time to make which is really bad since I'm usually busy with school. I have even pulled an all-nighter for one video lol. It can be really tiring when I'm tight on time, so your lovely comments never fail to keep me motivated. It's also satisfying to watch your completed video after exhausting your effort and care. So I'll say it once more. I love you all. You guys are seriously the best. Moving along, this is Sophia's question. Right now, I would say my biggest challenge is balancing life. I am currently in exam season, so school is slamming me with a bunch of work. I have about 30 tests this month so I'm totally dead. But I also want to draw and create YouTube content for you all. It is definitely a challenge so my next video might take a while to come. Next up, Yoon asks for what other hobbies I have. I like to read. I mostly read webtoons but sometimes I read novels as well. Last but not least, here are the last few questions. If I were to travel anywhere in the world, I would travel to Norway. Norway is absolutely gorgeous. I also would like to see the northern lights. I was actually supposed to go to Norway, but Covid stopped those plans. My favourite ice cream flavour is coffee. Oh yay I won. Okay guys thank you so much for watching. This video was super fun to make since it's not my typical outfit video. Sorry if I didn't answer everyone's questions. I felt like that would make the video too long. Anyways see you guys next time. Love you always bye.